water or something like that. Yeah, no, he's we'll, drawing something into a tube. No, he's, he's drinking, okay, or she. Um, what do you think all these little dots are around here? Freckles. No, they're not freckles because they're they're everywhere, right? They're above the water. They're everywhere. What's everywhere all around this? Atoms or molecules or air molecules, okay? So you know that all the time your atmosphere is squeezing you, okay? So there's pressure squeezing you, but you're squeezing out just as much, so you don't feel anything. Okay, so how do you drink? Notice that there's some molecules in here going up to this guy's face. Well, what if he took out a couple of these molecules? No? He's, so when you, when you drink some water, you're taking some molecules out, right? You're pulling air into your mouth. That means there's more here pushing down. So I've got more pressure pushing down than I have in this point, at this place, so the water goes up and you drink it. Okay, so I can actually measure how much pressure we've got going on here, and this is what I have here. So let's, um, let's change this a little bit. We're going to take away Mr. Happy Face. Bye-bye. Um, it's Miss Happy Face. And then we're going to, or Miss Happy Face. No, and we're going to take this tube and we're going to put it up into the air. A conveyor belt. Conveyor belt, yeah. And then we're going to seal off the top of this. We're going to put a cover on it, okay, like a peanut butter jar. A little hole with another tube coming out. All right, so now I can push air in here and I can watch how high the water goes and I can measure how much pressure is in here. Okay, and let's see what, and that's exactly what I've got here. I have a peanut butter jar, okay, and I've got a straw that goes down into the water, and I colored it green so you can see it, and then I've got another tube that comes into the top. Uh, that, it's, just like, it's just like a really long straw. That's exactly oh, right. It's connected. What's that? The thing you, that you can color. I, I just use food coloring to color it's the water. It's supposed to go all the way up there. It is, because watch what we can do and see if you can see the water. It's going up, more up, up, and it It's dies. going up, 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 and down. But, okay, but how great. Did it die? That's a snowflake. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's just, that's just tape that I have to tape it up there. Okay, so now I have a way of measuring pressure. But how do I get the pressure in my arm into here? I'm not going to... I hate to say this, I'm not going to cut open my arm and put this no. in and see how high, the, how it goes, right? That's no Okay, so what we do instead is we use a, a, a blood pressure cuff. And, yeah, so a blood, what a blood pressure cuff does, let's, uh, let's draw another picture here. Bye-bye. Okay, so I got brown here. All right. So imagine if you were to look at your arm, if you were to like... Bones. And there's bone. Okay, so let's draw some bone. One bone. Right. So there's one bone. Okay, and then there's some muscle in here. You're right. So there's, there's a bicep over here and a tricep over here. But what else is running through there? Exactly. Okay, so let's draw, let's draw an artery. So here, here's an artery. And we'll put an A in here for artery. Okay. So what goes through your veins? Okay. And no air. That's right. Do you think I can hear the blood going through the vein? No. Can, I think you can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it if you if you press it. And can I hear the water flowing through a gentle stream? No. No. But if I take that stream and I force it into a little pipe so that it really rushes, do you think I could hear it there? Yeah. And what about if I squeeze it so much that I stop the water? Can I hear it then? No. Now we're on to something. Okay, so let's take a blood pressure cuff. This is a balloon. You know when you take your blood pressure, yeah. the doctor pumps it up, right? Okay, so we've got a big balloon here. And we're gonna we're gonna pump it up. And actually let's let's draw the balloon. Okay, so if this if this squeezes if it squeezes your artery like this, but not completely closed then I can hear the blood going through it. And that's what the doctor's listening to in the stethoscope. But if I squeeze it all the way, but there's no blood and I can't hear anything. Okay, so if I squeeze it all the way, that's, there's two numbers that come out of the blood pressure, right? What were they? The systolic and the diastolic. Systolic and diastolic. And refresh my memory, which one's the high pressure when the heart's beating? Systolic. 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 Okay. So if I squeeze this all the way so that I can't hear anything, then I've got the systolic pressure in here. 
And if I connect this to my tube, I can say, oh, this is how much my systolic pressure is. Okay? And then if I, if I start letting the air out, like the doctor makes that little knob, you can hear the air come out, like Okay? Does, has anyone heard that? When the doctor lets the pressure go yeah. out? Okay, so you can hear the air coming out of the cuff because they've got this little thing, they open this little knob. How do they, What's how, it? how can it work? How can, well, we're gonna show you how it's gonna work. We're gonna get, we're gonna take my blood pressure and then hopefully my lovely volunteer here as well. Okay, one second. So if we start letting the pressure out, your artery opens up and you can hear the blood flow. And then finally, it's back to a big old circle again, just like that gentle open stream and you can't hear anything. When you can't hear anything, now you've reached your diastolic pressure. So what the doctor's listening for, they're listening for your heartbeat. And when the water's up here, or when the pressure's way high, they're looking for the systolic. And then when it's low and they stop hearing it, it's the diastolic. Yes, Tia? Were you asking the question or just stretching? Yes, stretching. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> yes? Um, since my, um, since my auntie is a doctor, she tells me I should take my blood pressure and everything. And also, um, I don't get checked by a doctor, so I'll by your Ah, okay. Okay, well, let's, let, let's, let's keep going on this. So what about those numbers? What, what's a good number for blood pressure? Ms. Pingali, do you know? I think my kids also know. Is it like, let's yeah. 120 and 80? 120 and 80. No, 140 and 80. Something like that? Mm -hmm. I think that's about right. That's okay. right. But, but what are these? 120 watts. Systolic. No. No, what? Millimeter. Of? Of systolic. Of, of systolic. Um, mercury. Yeah. Oh, good job. Okay, so millimeters of mercury. What's mercury? It's mercury. really poisonous. Yeah, it's poisonous. It's poisonous. Okay. Isn't it the thing where it tells you they use it how hot it is outside? Yeah, exactly. So you use it for thermometers and you use it for this. Good. Okay, what's another thing you know about mercury? Good is it a solid, it. liquid, or gas? Liquid. Liquid. It has a lot of alcohol. No. No. Is, no. It, is it light or heavy? Light. light. Very no. Light. It's heavy. really heavy. In fact, I wrote, I wrote this down. You know a gallon of water. Everyone yeah. can pick up a gallon of water. Okay? It weighs about 8 pounds. A gallon of mercury weighs 113 pounds. You, you couldn't pick it up. It's that heavy. So that makes it really good for measuring stuff like this because you can make a pretty small gauge. Okay? You, you're, 120 millimeters is what? About that tall? So it's not very tall. And water is very light. So if I want to measure blood pressure with water, I need to go all the way to the ceiling. Well, I can't have this in my doctor's office. So, so I'm going to show you one more thing before we get to the real exciting experiment. And that is, this, this should look familiar, right? When the doctor's... No, this is a pressure gauge. This is when the doctor takes your blood pressure, they pump this up, and they watch this thing. Okay, and what's in here... This is another way to measure pressure. It looks an awful lot like this. What are Two these? Two plates. Two plates, right. And if I put some air into the plates, I, I put a little hole in the plate here. So let's see if you can see this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it here. Can you see it blow up a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so I've got these two plates, and if I put pressure into it, I can expand the plates a little yeah, bit. No, but that's that's not very convenient. What's a thing from science class that if you move it a lot on one side, it moves a little bit on the other side? A lever? A lever. Who said lever? No. Good job. Okay. Awesome. So it works the other way. If I have a lever and I have the, uh, what's the middle of a lever called? Fulcrum. 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 Okay, great. So let's, let's, draw, let's draw what's in the doctor's office. Thing. So I've got some paper plates here, except they're made out of metal. Okay, and then I put the pressure in, and then I have a lever with the fulcrum right here, and a needle out here. So now a little tiny bit of movement here gives me a lot of movement out here. And thank you eBay, I bought a gauge, and let's take it apart and pass it around. And see if you can see in here some levers and some things that look like little metal paper plates. Okay, I love <coughs> taking stuff apart. Now, please do me a favor and don't touch this needle here. It's a little bit fragile. I mean, if it breaks, it's no big deal, but try not to touch the needle here. But just look, there's two things that look like paper plates. 
And there's a couple of little gears and lever levers in here. Okay, so pass, can you pass that around? Do you make these stuff? Well, no, I bought that from eBay. Because eBay is the greatest. You can find anything on there. What is that? I don't know about games, but I can find pressure gauges. Okay, so now, okay, pass it on. now I think we're ready to rock and, and take some blood pressure. Okay, so what's the other thing the doctor uses to take pressure? They've got this thing. What else do they do? This is this is the two plates. Those are the two plates. They may have a machine. What about it when they take it sort of manually by themselves? The two plates? They use a stethoscope. Yes, sweetie. Yeah, they have a stethoscope. Yeah, so stethoscope. Tell you what it sounds Do you see like. the needle, That's Allison? This is a needle, and these are the two That's plates the that you're stuck Well, I'm, I'm going to try two people, but I want everyone to hear it. Pass it so on. let's take it apart. That's so, the needle. Do you see the needle? It's like the compass one. Exactly. Exactly. Could you pass it on, please? Thank you. Let's start to hear it. Do you see the needle and the two plates? Yeah. Thank you. So now, let's put the head on the head of the stethoscope. In this tube, let's see if we can still hear. Hello, hello. Okay. So now, there you go. Priya, you hear next. Okay. So now, Priya, you're next. Okay. So they say to sit down. So here's this, and stuff is going to fall all over, but that's okay. All right. So here's this, and now we need to measure some pressure. So I'm going to take this and pop it into the cuff here. Now the doctor, <coughs> this this I made from a Trader Joe peanut butter jar, but this would work. You know, if you're if you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't have a pressure gauge, but you happen to have this for some strange reason, then um, you could actually take your blood pressure. Okay, so let's uh, let's make this work. Oh, listen. Hear the heartbeat? Yeah. Okay. So now we're between systolic and diastolic. Heartbeat. Okay. So let's try that again. Okay. So shh. Quiet. One more time. Okay. So we pump it up. So we don't hear any pressure. No heartbeat. No. Okay, so if we were to measure that, in fact, let's do that. Ms. Pingali, can you put your finger right where that water is right now? Sure. Okay, great. So we have that, and I brought a, I brought a tape measure. Let's see if I'm alive or not. Okay, so that's, so that's about 48 inches of water. And one inch of water is the same as 1.87 millimeters of mercury. Do you have a calculator, Ms. Pingali? Uh, we should be able to get it on, on okay. the computer. Okay. Well, that's okay. One Let's, second. We'll, we'll just write it and, uh, and see if we can figure it out. That's okay. I think we'll, we'll have to check it a couple more times. Okay. Now, Priya, can I try you? And let's see what we can do. Hey, there's a nice ride. Okay, so. Let's do this. All right. Isn't she brave? I, I'd be scared of me. Gotcha. So let's see if this will work. Okay, so now we need to deconnect the adult size and reconnect the kitty size. I know, you're not kitties. That was, that was bad. Can you forgive me? Okay. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not an expert at this, and Priya's arm is a lot smaller than mine, and she says it tickles. So let's pop this up here, and let's see if we can get anything to work. Okay, so, and I'm going to try, who is it that knew about feedback? Okay, so let's, let's try and avoid it. Is that okay, Priya? Ouch. Oh, 
so far. Very still for you. Oh, there. Okay. You hear Priya's heartbeat? Yes. Okay, good. So now we're in between diastolic and systolic. Who talked? And now it's gone. Okay, gotcha. Does everyone kind of get the idea of how this works? Okay, great. So you're squeezing your vein to see to hear the rushing blood through it. Okay, great. All right, thank you, Priya. That's I don't not... know why we need that. What's that? I don't know why we need what that. What about a doctor in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> they might need that, right? So you don't need it now because you live in Silicon Valley and you can buy everything on eBay. Yes? Um, you can make that at home. Everybody else can make it at home. You, you, like, you could try. As I like to say, it's not rocket surgery. Right. Okay. Let's so. Okay, so we've got all of this, and, and I have, let me check my notes here. Let's make sure I went over everything. So we've got arm section, we've got the cross section of the arm, so we know how that all works. We took my blood pressure, we took Priya's. Oh, the very last thing. So a box like this that takes your blood pressure, it seems so sure of itself. You push a button and it gives you a number. Oh boy, you just can't trust that. So I... There's order to the universe because I found this at work in the recycle bin where they recycle all the electronic stuff. It's a blood pressure meter. And that was right yes. as I was planning to do this. So that was, that was almost that was a magical moment. So let's take it apart. So I'm going to pass this around too. So this, inside here, there's a little electronic metal paper plate. So it's just like this thing except it's electronic. And then there's the little place where the numbers come out. What, what was that? It's a battery. Batteries go on the bottom here. Okay, so I'm not going to pass this around because it's got sharp pokies and this is made out of glass. But this is what measures the pressure. What else do you need to take your blood pressure? You need the cuff. Well, that goes in here. You need some tubes. You need a way to pump the cuff up, right? So this little thing here, that's a pump that takes air from the outside and pumps it into the cuff. You also need a way to let the air out. So there's a little widget here that it's a little valve that goes Does yours do that, Ms. Pingali? Oh, yes. Okay, gotcha. So this is the little thing that does that. And then the very last thing, they had to lawyer-proof this thing. Okay, so if for liability reasons. So you don't want this thing to be dangerous. So the very last thing, this guy, if something goes wrong and the pump keeps going, there's a little thing in here to make it so it doesn't squeeze your arm forever. So I'm going to pass this around, too. Oh, and a little beeper, too. And kids, we are going to use a similar one like this one, the so, digital one. So just like that. But you know, uh, Mr. Torin was here. He was trying to show you how what works inside it, and that's what the demonstration was all about. Yeah. Okay? So now I, I hope when you take when you push that button and you see those confident numbers on that screen, you think about how what it's actually doing. So it's listening for your heartbeat and it's inflating and deflating. Okay. <laughs>